Hey guys, it's Agumasi Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be talking about the top five secrets to getting featured in the App Store. And these are some things that are really not secrets, but I want to call it that way to make sure that you emphasize the importance of actually doing what I'm about to tell you. So I'm going to be covering five different tips, so make sure that you watch the entire video because all of these tips are really helpful if you're working on an app, if you're working on a game, they're going to be really helping you in getting more visibility. So Number one is one that I, I try to do as much as I can, and I've been doing it for the last five years, is you have to build a portfolio. So build a portfolio of apps and games that you have been releasing. You might not have something super polished, but that's okay. Make sure that you're building you know, for the future. So for instance, if I'm working on a game right now, it might not be completely polished, but you know, I want to release it, I want to get it out, and I'm not saying release games that are not polished, but make sure that you're building a portfolio for long term. So if your game doesn't get released right now and or if it doesn't get featured now, but then you know a few years from today you have a portfolio of applications and games that's really gonna help you whenever you are contacting the platforms, which is my next point. The number two is going to be make sure that you're contacting the platforms in advance. For instance, for Apple, when I was working on, on Stigman World, I released Stigman World. I didn't let you know the platforms know that I was releasing a game. The game didn't really get much exposure until later that I released my second game and I let them know about my first game and then all of a sudden the app and the game got actually featured. So if you're working on an app right now and you want to and you're wondering what you should be doing, there is a form for Apple and also for Android that you can fill out and then what's gonna happen is that form and, and they get a lot of these forms. So that's what I'm telling you. You gotta make sure you do this in advance. Do it at least two months in advance before you're releasing your game because it's gonna help you in getting to their queue. They're gonna be looking, looking at it, looking at specific features that might be you know, amazing for the people that are going to be downloading the app. So make sure that you're letting them know at least two months in advance. I'm gonna be putting some of those links in the description of this video, so make sure that you check those. Number three, it's going to be, you have to create a website that is really professional, that is actually emphasizing some of the, some of the cool features about the application or game that you're working on. For instance, if you're developing a game and it's using some of the augmented reality you know, features that Apple has been pushing to, so make sure that you emphasize that because that's what's going to be, you know, it's gonna be the cool feature and Apple is gonna see that or Android is gonna see that and they're gonna say, okay, wow, this app has these features. We want to target you know, this application for this niche, so they're going to be you know, more likely to get your application feature. And I'm not saying in all of these tips that if you do a all, you're gonna get feature. If you do two, you're gonna get feature. I'm gonna, I'm saying try to do as much as what I'm telling you to do because that's gonna get you closer to getting feature when you release your app or game. So the next one is also very important. You gotta build a community. You guys know that I've been building a community for the last seven years. Ever since I started working on my game, I was tweeting about you know things that I was learning. I was tweeting about features that I was working on, things that I you know that were Roblox and basically engaging that community because at the end of the day, you want to collaborate with people, you want to bring a community into your niche. Those might not be specific people that you're gonna be selling your game to, but they're gonna be people that are gonna be helping you. That person that you know saw your game or saw how, how hard you work might refer you to the right person and you'll be surprised how, you know, how small the world is. And that small world might be that, you know, the other person is one of the editors of Apple. So make sure that you're building a community because that's really gonna help you stand out from, you know, from the crowd, from the millions of applications that are already out there. So the next one is also really important is that's that you need to make sure that you let media outlets know. So if you're thinking about what media outlets, what do I mean by that? And what I mean is like, try to find companies and websites that are related to your niche that may have a bigger community and, and try to see if you can get a hold of them. You can email them and say, okay, hey, I'm, I'm building this mobile app, I'm building this game. How likely are you to, you know, to feature it on release day? And then and see if you can help them somehow because a lot of times what I'm finding is, a lot of times I'm emailing these companies and they might say, well, Dilmer, can you give me more details? Can I get some behind the scene? And can you send me a press release? And those things really help because you know, now you're building another relationship, you're building, you know, you're collaborating with them and in your future games, you might already have that connection. So it takes time, it takes a lot of work to, to do this, but it's something that I really recommend that you do. You can also post in their forums, but I would really make sure that you're really careful with that because a lot of people don't like promotions. So make sure you're building you know, a relationship first before you're po posting about your game. 
but there's a lot of companies out there and sites out there that are willing to accept that information. So it's important that you, you know, you're know, you building that relationship, you're building a press release, just getting that out in advance. So these five tips should be should get you going if you're building if you're building a game. If you guys have any other questions about any of the five tips that I just provided, please let me know in the comments. And also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.